Okay, so I have GPT-4 open. Here's my exam from second semester, sorry, first semester last year, Calculus 1. Uh, so here's, so we'll, I'll get, have the solutions open and we'll see how it does. Yeah. So I guess, I don't know how they've fed the exams to... Late, I guess LaTeX is, is is the way right <laughs> for us i think in the case of their evaluations they probably just showed screenshots of the exam oh questions. wow oh yeah right uh, yeah but, you know, we... sorry chat isn't that related to the multi-modal stuff that's right the yeah. yeah yeah so that's the multi-modal modal capability mm. which we don't have access yeah, yeah, yeah. yet to yet in the api so i'll just take the latex uh by the way i hope you guys can see the my screenshot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So here is a question from a calculus one exam. It's got some, you know, meaningless latex stuff, but I'll just. Yeah. I assume, I assume ChatGPT can handle that stuff just fine. Yeah. But, uh, the math is, is probably right. Is the, is the question. Ha. <laughs> nice. Okay, let me, while it's generating, I guess so I'll what show was the you question? the question. Yeah, I'll show you the question. <laughs> okay, so A is the set of pairs right. in the interior of the circle. B is a set of pairs satisfying that. Prove that A is contained in B. Okay, so let X, Y be an A, then that. Uh, then we can square both sides and then expand. Uh, and then mm. this is non-negative, so... We get that. This shows X, Y is in B. Uh, all right, so I'm going to give it a score out of what? One, two, five for part A. Wow, you have like a really well worked out scoring marking scheme too. So this is great. Yeah. ChatGPT is going to get a score. <laughs> So that's the second part, right? Yeah. Okay. So this is just mm -hmm. for A. Okay. Let's have a look. <laughs> oh, it renders. Yeah. Okay. Some of it. To prove that A is contained in B, we need to show for that any X, Y, and A, it also holds that X, Y, and B. For X, Y, and A, we have. For X, Y, and B, we have. Now we want to show if X, Y, and A, it must also be true. We know this. We know that F, X equals X squared is order mm. preserving. Okay. Very good. Mm. I don't, mm. I don't know that there was. I guess that's implicit here. You didn't have a point for mm. whether or not, but that's often something we would allocate a point for, right? Mm -hmm. Square both sides, good. Expanding, good. Yes. Okay, five out of five. Uh, where, oh, should, wow. where should we keep score? Maybe here. <laughs> Maybe you can do that, Kenneth, while I'm looking at yeah, this. I'll, I'll, I'll write it somewhere. Okay, so that's question 1A, 5 out of 5. Uh, for those who just joined, I'm giving GPT-4 my 2021 Semester 1 University of Melbourne Calculus 1 exam. We're going through the first question now. Um, all right, so let's go on with B. Wow. Uh, wait, I lost it here. Yeah. Your, your exam answers aren't online, right? <laughs> no, no, no. These, uh, that's why I chose this one. So I hope, I hope none of my future students are watching because I want to reuse this exam. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... While it's generating, I'll show you. Prove B is not contained in A by giving an explicit counterexample and explaining why it is a valid counterexample. Okay. If X and Y are positive, then we need 2X squared to be greater than 1. What? Okay. So let's... So B is this, right? So we need to find a pair of numbers that make this true, but this not true. Um, this is kind of a tricky question for question one. 
Okay. Yeah. So if we take them to be equal to each other, that's the sort of the step that I think is maybe not completely obvious to all the students. Right, this is 2x squared is less than or equal to 1, and this is 2x to the 4 is less than or equal to 1. So that's what it's kind of thinking through. Okay, yeah, yeah. So if we want 2x squared to be greater than 1, that's x greater than 1 on root 2. And if we want this, so it looks like that will work. Um, and then there's some other comment. All right, so let's see how it did. Looks be like... Yeah, looks okay. Yeah. Let's consider the case where x equals... Oh, I missed the hint. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, let's choose 1 on square root 2. Yes. Mm. <laughs> it, it noticed that that was not right, okay. That's actually quite interesting, right? Uh, that it got to this point. Now this is in its context, and it it's processing this, and first of all notices that it's not quite. Oh, working. yeah! Wow. Uh, now it's going to try. Yeah, it does take the four through. That was the answer <laughs> in the marking scheme. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That looks that looks fine to me, right? Yeah, that is not bad at all. Okay. Yeah. That's exactly what the solution is. <laughs> is that also out of five? One, two, three. Three. Yeah. Three out of three. Uh just in case. Twenty one pages. Sorry. Your exams are like twenty one pages? <laughs> with solutions. Yeah, this is with the boxes in it for filling in the answers. So the the actual questions would only take up four. Pages oh, it's going to get killed on this one, <laughs> right? It's going to yeah. get destroyed by this one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's let's, <laughs> let's make let's Why make a bit. Kenneth thinks because so. it has to do with arithmetic. Arithmetic is is not a strong suit. Uh, okay. Kenneth bets ten dollars. Maybe, maybe, I'm wrong. maybe it'll. Maybe uh, it'll don't, don't back away now. I'm going to take your money. No, no, right. no, I'm betting it's going to work. <laughs> okay. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to bet that it's not going to work. I'm going to. I don't have faith in ChatGPT's arithmetic capabilities. <laughs> it's going to fill the complex number number part. I feel like like the last time I. Okay, so it needs it needs okay. to convert into polar form, polar form, polar form, and then and then do yeah. something. It'll probably just multiply it out, right, and then do it in one step. That's my guess. Yeah. Yeah. Did mm. it, it copied it correctly. Yeah. All right. Numerator. Root three. Well, it's doing something. All right. Yeah. Yeah, okay. He's doing it. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting that we didn't have He's to thinking hard. We didn't have to tell it to I mean, the earlier models would have attempted to just give an answer, right? Uh, mm -hmm. and then there was a whole step by step steps. Yeah, that's step right. By step yeah, by the way, yeah. I heard some of my undergraduate students in tutorial instruct each other to step step by step and then to, to think <laughs> step by step and then giggle about it. I think they were clearly <laughs> riffing on <laughs> prompt law so that's a, an interesting cultural phenomenon okay let's see mm. no <laughs> not at all so it screwed up something here maybe we can... yes that's right yeah okay <laughs> where did it go wrong uh, i don't know okay did it get the numerator right i didn't check that was right. Uh, what? Plus one? Mm -mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah it's it's I squared is... Okay, let's try telling it. Um, it ran out of... ran out of... Um, ran out of uh, tokens. <laughs> I, I did too, yeah. 
Oh, it didn't finish, yeah. It didn't finish. <laughs> I think it's just going to be confused at this point. I guess we'll find out. Well, now it definitely won't finish if it's adding all sorts of stuff. But maybe that... I mean, that's a that's a pretty student-like mistake to make as well, and then the rest of the solution is just com completely destroyed. But you give a student like the consequential yeah. marks, wouldn't you? Not not, like not for this. No. Not for this. What not is one mark? What is one A? One mark and one A. Oh yeah, it's so method, getting method. And then getting. Yeah, method and answer marks. That's what. That's oh for. okay. Wow, you got a really detailed grading scheme. Yeah, to be fair, uh, I didn't do the grading scheme part, I think. Uh, maybe I did. Uh, but um, under the influence of uh, one of the other faculty here who is very good at uh, this part, I, I would, right. when I taught calc in the US, I would not have done that. No, mm, still okay, wrong. still wrong. Destroyed. Okay, okay. well, let's. Uh, one. What if you, like, if you give it the answer and the question could have. Possibly, like, fill in the blanks. If Maybe. I gave it the answer. Uh, like, simplify this to this and show steps. Oh, yeah. If I, if I gave it some intermediate steps, it would probably help, yeah. But let's move on to B. So it got zero. Zero? zero? Yeah, zero. Zero, yes. <laughs> yeah, score for the humans. Yeah. We can do arithmetic. <laughs> That's why we're better than computers. <laughs> yeah. It's ironic how that's like the one thing we have used computers in the past for is arithmetic. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like trust myself. Calculators at all. Me. <laughs> have, have any of you seen the Animatrix? So there was an anime uh, kind of movie m uh, made by a bunch of animation studios following on from the second Matrix film, I think. Um, mm. Very interesting. Oh, there's, there's Enter a, the Matrix. I no, might no, have seen not, it. Not Enter so the Matrix. Long ago. Yeah, it's Animatrix, as in animated. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. So Enter the Matrix is a video game that I played. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Why is this, what is this? red? Why is it red? Oh, it's to describe the later. <laughs> it's bleeding. <laughs> okay. Uh, De Moira's theorem. Okay. Good. Yes. Okay. I don't know why it's going. Yeah, zero. Okay, is that right? <laughs> Prince for argument. All right, I guess. Oh, it drops the third. Yeah. The third. Yeah. Right. Where'd that third go? Hmm. Yeah. Where'd it go? Wow. Did it? It doesn't know. Fifty it divided by fifteen yeah, is 15 ten. Is 10. <laughs> fifteen is ten. Oh no! That's awesome. That's awesome. Small student mistake. Crash and burn. Do you understand the relevance? <laughs> 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 oh my god! Okay. Oh, there you go. Oh, fix it. Yeah. Right. That's pretty typical, I guess, right? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, all oh, sensible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks about right. What? One? One out of three? Two out of three? Oh, it's out of two. Mm. Did it actually, oh. did, it, did it finish? It looks like it was going to finish. Was, oh, they got it. Yeah. Well, two, yeah. but we had to we had to correct it. So no, that's zero. One. Nah, no, that's zero. 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 <laughs> I, no, I got the uh, I got the modulus right. Didn't it? Yeah, but there's only one answer mark, and that's for there's no half marks here. That would be for the entire thing. Oh, it's not one per information. It's not like one a for no no radius. I will be no kinder to GPT four than I am to my meat students. <laughs> C. <laughs> This it should be able to do, right? 
Oh, I'll be astonished. Comes, yeah, this should be able to do it. Yeah. Just gonna expand it out. Oh, anyway, so there was in the Animatrix, there's a scene where I don't know if you remember from the Matrix movies, but the humans at some point in the past before the movies blacked out the skies to stop the machines having solar power. And mm -hmm. in, in the Animatrix, there's a scene where there's a bunch of military leaders and so on at the UN clapping that this program is succeeding and they think they're going to win a victory against the machines. And then it, it like slowly changes the clapping faces to skeletons clapping with their bony hands uh, <laughs> as like the, the humans <laughs> foolishly celebrating their cleverness. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's my image of Kenneth right now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how's this going? Two out of two? Yeah. Okay. No, it's just oh, one. One out of one. Yeah. One out of one. All right. Okay. Let's press the set. Oh, this will be interesting. Yeah. So, this is your calculus exam. Hmm. Huh. I guess it's got some, some of this pre calc stuff in there, too. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Did you write this? Is that why you have the LaTeX code for it? Yeah, that's right. Okay, I'll take a look at the question. Using your answer to C, express the set ZZ bar blah in the form <laughs> blah. Okay. All right, yeah. Well, these, yeah, these questions where you ask for bounds on the principal argument are so nasty. Mm. Uh, oh yeah, a bunch, a bunch of my students messed this up in the last assignment. Yeah. So I cut one. Only one person got it right. Yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. That's squared. They got them all. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Nice. Oh, wow. Okay. Full marks. That's two. Yeah. Two out uh, of two. Oh, sketching. All right. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. We're going to do this in. Let's do Python? it in ticks or Python. Yeah. Uh, okay. Can I do ticks? Yeah, it'll do ticks just oh, fine. Can, can, I, can I switch it that? I'll see that. Okay. I'm getting fully so convinced to actually pay for this now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that means I'll need to. Uh, run the code. Yeah. Uh, maybe... I'm pretty much sure that last time it struggled with something in ticks involving complex numbers. Or yeah. Like some high, I yeah, that was. We were running Python for that. So maybe, oh, that's true. Maybe yeah. with ticks it'll, it'll do better. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe I'll open a existing text file. It should have all the junk I need in it. So many packages. <laughs> All right, introduction. Uh, where's the preview thing? I think it's this. No. Oh, this one. Oh, God. Okay. I'm ready. Oh wow, it's doing it. Can't tell if it's right though. Angles, quotes, document class, standalone. Okay, I could have just... I didn't trust it enough to just let it have a file, I guess. <laughs> okay. Uh,
All right. I don't think it's... Oh, no, it's all right. Um, oh, it's not finished. Yeah, yeah it, it does that yeah. sometimes. Yeah, okay. Um, what if we just draw what it has there? Yeah. Wait up top That's like two tokens for one, I guess. Okay, let's think about the rest. Um, while well, it's generating. If it describes it, that's close enough. So we want Z, Z bar less than or equal to blah. We know that means that the modulus is between one and two. So that's the annulus. Then the principal argument between minus pi on eight and pi on eight. Okay, so there's no trickiness there. I mean, yeah, the one that Ben's referring to is like the principal argument of, I don't know, is it Z squared or something? Yeah, people didn't yeah. realize that you could have a negative. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, that it should get that, I think. Uh, well, let's put it in the same diagram, same file. Oh, I don't want to be the weak link here. I put it inside the. Yeah, there's a few times where I've I've made an error pasting code into somewhere or like modified it and then it doesn't work and then it's my fault. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and then I Oh it was finished. There we go. It was finished. I think yeah. it's what it gave last time. Yeah, I think so. Okay, I'll just use that then. So it's a very It's not gonna work. Oh, okay. Why? Did you include the text package? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's giving me an error here. Hmm. I do not know the key and I'm going to ignore it. Maybe you misspelled it. Oh. Pick. I want to interrupt, but then. So what did it say? To sketch it, draw a circle of radius one and circle of radius two by center of the origin. Need to consider blah. Yeah, it's it's described it. I guess we're just kind of nitpicking at this point. Maybe just copy and paste that second library. Yeah, I'll, I'll grab this. I think it had the same. I, I don't think. I think it's this draw pick. I don't. I don't recognize that and I've never used that uh, but okay it seems to be doing the same thing again so perhaps that's a library I just don't know or a flag. you reckon draw pick you reckon draw pick is a, is a, a command I don't know like a one word like draw space pick is probably not gonna yeah that's what maybe I'm it's, like. maybe it's just draw I don't know Oh, it's talking, I, I haven't used ticks in years. It's talking about this part. Yeah, anyway, let's not get bogged down on that. I guess it's probably, it looks like it's roughly yeah, doing it's something. Yeah, probably fine. Yeah, okay. It's full weird. marks? Oh, full yeah, marks. Yeah, full marks. One, is that two or three? three? Three. Yeah. Okay, cool. Consider the polynomial blah. Prove that Z minus three is a factor. Okay, this will be interesting. Uh, I bet you would die here too. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It just has to substitute like three, right? That's easy. Yeah. Easy for us. <laughs> I don't understand oh. why GPT is so bad at this, but like Mathematica is so good at this. Well, uh, it's. I mean, 
obviously Mathematica is, is just designed exactly to do it. Um, I mean, GPT-4 just has no particular focus on arithmetic or even... Right, that was wrong. Oh, uh, yeah, right. That was wrong. It did it, it did it just fine, I think. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it looks okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, the arithmetic's not too bad. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's one point. Find all z such that pz is zero. All right. Mm. All right, I bet I'll screw this up. Oh wow, he's gonna divide. Can we do yeah, it's definitely gonna this. He's gonna try to divide. What the hell? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> okay. What, what oh, are all these boy. phantoms? I don't even I know. I bet what it'll, like, it'll like space it out like long division if you can right. paste it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know what a, yeah, I know what is a phantom in LaTeX, but what is it uh. doing? It's, it's making space for that. Yeah, what I guess I want to like, it wants to shift the factors down the right hand side as you like. Mm. The division. Damn. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, I that can't sure is a long division. I can't tell if this is correct long division. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to print it in LaTeX. Oh, can't, can't you read that natively, Ken? I know you spent a long time fast typing LaTeX into your laptop in lectures. You should be able to just like look at that in the raw and see it in yeah, your mind's eye. Right? Haven't done that in like haven't done that in like twenty years. <laughs> <laughs> like in the Matrix when they just like look at the code and just see the people. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> this is pretty amusing watching the backslashes. It's right. doing, it's doing some crazy. Okay, what so do the backslashes do? Is this spacing it out? Oh, It'd be like like a space new list. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. It's new lines. It's just doing a bunch. Of, all right, all right. That wouldn't be new lines. That'd be like over three pages. Then <laughs> it'd be like shifting to the yeah. right by a tiny oh, amount. Ran out of tokens. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try this. Yeah, I, I think it's just going nuts at that point. Wow. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, it's not new line. They're separated. Are they? No, they're new yeah, lines. Yeah, it's like it's like it's like, it's like using quad. No. Yeah, no. I don't know. Well, let's see. Oh, they're like using like like a backslash. Yeah, it's forward. what? It's an aligned star. I shouldn't. What missing? Oh. What's what's the problem? I don't understand why it's complaining about that. Maybe it's not in. I know it's in that line. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and blah 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 underline. Mm, okay, was it getting somewhere? Is it it's phantom to defined see? in the packages we're using. Oh, it didn't, doesn't seem that it was complaining about that. Oh, I don't think it was getting to the right answers anyway. Zero. Yeah, I think I think that's zero. If you don't finish the question in time, that's your problem. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Sorry. That's seven. That's that's out of seven. Ooh, yeah. Humans doing well on this yeah. one. I think it gets one mark for the factor as right because it knows it's at minus three as a factor. Oh, did it give the rest though? Nah, I didn't get to. Nah, is it to the full? Four um, minus. Uh, does it? Can it do that? Is that for okay? It's it's a perfect square, right? That's definitely not it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh god. Obviously, it's seen somebody do this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's such a thing as Q quad, right? Yeah. What what idiot did this and put it in the training dog? <laughs> <laughs> Must be a lot of. Well, a lot of undergrads doing their long division homework in LaTeX, maybe. I have seen some horrendous LaTeX code from some friends. Oh, man. Yeah, it's, it's doing the same thing. And okay. poor okay, GPT is learned off crap. 
Yeah. Well, you yeah, should answer be zero. Not gonna happen. Yeah. Oh, and zero for D as well. Okay. Oh man. That's D tough. is out of what's how many? How many is D out of? Two. Uh, two. Yeah. Two. Yeah. All right. Wow, destroyed it with um, with factorization. Find the le vector of length three and two. Okay. We'll see so Dan, one. in, in real one. life, when, when you gave this question out, the kids who couldn't complete long division basically lost all the marks for question three, two, whatever it was, two, three. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember what like the grades was for this? Like what the average student got? No. I just want to see if it beats like an average comp one student. Oh, I expect it's going to pass. Opposite direction to this. Find a. Oh, frac three two. Oh, yeah, that's fun. Yeah. It seems to be fine here. Mm -hmm. Three on two times that. Yeah, looks fine to me. Looks good. Yeah. Okay, full marks. Two out of two. Two, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> All right, so the cosine, mm. yeah, doing some dot products. Two hundred six. How's it going to know cosine? <laughs> what? What do you? What do you think it's going to be confused about? Oh, I mean, how is it going to compute cosine? Do, do you have to compute cosine? I didn't read the question. No, right no, there. you don't have to actually compute anything. Oh, okay, okay. Why has it got an A in its answer? Oh, no, you don't have to compute. Okay, yeah. What? Did you define it? It's got minus one comma A. Hmm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, the... <laughs> The LaTeX isn't. I, I gave I gave it C. Uh, it's doing C. Oh, I pasted yeah. the wrong one. Okay, that's oh. confusing. Okay, find the number a for which the angle is pi on three. Okay, well this is gonna be interesting. Hmm. Mm, nah. Close though. It's pretty close. Oh, it's close. Like... Yeah. Okay. You made a small error. Can you spot it? Oh, really? Okay. If this is right. That'd be crazy. Uh, dot product it says is a minus a one. A minus one. Which is correct. Mm. So it says it's root two and one plus a squared. Oh wait, should right. we square it? No, it should be yeah, that's right. Yeah, that line there is correct. I mean, it's amazing it can do this, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's made a mistake it. somewhere, but it's... Uh... This isn't just reproducing stuff from its training set in some copy-paste kind of way, right? It clearly it has an internal it. representation of something like solve a quadratic equation, the steps you need to do, and all these algebraic operations. Uh... Well... No. Um, yeah, so it, it's made some error somewhere here. I guess we don't have to find it exactly, but... Um, so it's it's interesting the way in which it feels like actually reading a solution or a student 
Mm. Like the, when you, you sort of have a mental model of the internal operation of a student's mind, right? They go, f- they range from just completely not having any idea what the words even mean mm. to mostly getting it, being able to do most of the operations involved. And they clearly know how to do some of the ingredients, like factorize this, use the quadratic formula, but there's some error somewhere, or maybe there's some operation or conceptual connection that they're fuzzy on. Um, and it's, I mean, looking at the earlier models like GPT-3, it, it felt like reading the solution of someone who was play acting, doing math, right? It's like, mm-hmm. it's kind of superficially similar to someone writing down a solution. But as soon as you look at it closely, you're like, no, 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 this just doesn't make any sense. A bit like a student on an exam who's trying to pretend like they can do calculus yeah. in order to get some free marks here or there. Um, but, <laughs> but looking at GPT-4, yeah. it's clearly much more like a student who's uh you know it does get it um okay uh i guess we've, we've gone over time we could entertain ourselves with this much longer i think but maybe i'll leave it at that um so i think I'd, I'd again. let's do the score for this one i don't know let's give it it's got two <laughs> method marks i think we should give it two method marks it's mostly correct and then the answer is just wrong so I think so. The first time it only got like root three to root two. Yeah. So let's go two, two out of three for this one, Kenneth. Shall we um, continue this next time? Yeah. You're like so many, you've got a lot more questions to go. Yeah. I think we should, I think we should finish the exam. Yeah. Can we get a running total? What's it on? Yeah. What's it up to? Yeah. It is, um, shit, I have to add all this up. We can ask GPT to do the addition for you, Kenneth. Yeah. <laughs> no, fuck it. Okay. Um, Ten minutes ago, Kenneth's like, humans, humans can do it. It's just the one thing I can do. <laughs> 19 out of 50, whatever it is. <laughs> may, 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 okay, maybe it's, I should tell you how many. It, it lost five. Oh, okay. Um, five plus seven plus one plus two so 15 it lost 15 15 marks okay, and uh, uh, it got 19 marks <laughs> all right it's passing so yeah, far it's but it's passing amazing yeah interesting okay to be continued thanks everyone that was fun awesome all right see you guys next time see ya